Hey, what's going on? What's going on? A few updates. There's a lot of stuff that's going on. I got some emails and I'm going to address them really, really quick before I get into the video. Number one, there's a lot of courses going on. Question, uh, ebooks, will each ebook become a course? Yes, it will. So the best way to get in is to get in when it's in the beta pre pre Neanderthal lunch mode. That's the best time. You know, usually stuff is like 10 bucks. That's the best time to get in. Uh, two, what's going on with the YouTube training? YouTube, well, if you don't know about YouTube, there's this big conference called VidCon that just happened. And YouTube put out a ton of announcements of things that are happening. Uh, glad I made the YouTube course flexible. So essentially, I'm going to add content to it every week because there's a ton of stuff to learn and it's constantly changing. Okay, what's going on with Hustlers University? It's free. Anyone can join. What's going on with 30 days to 2500 bucks? It's still in effect and you can make money. Okay. Um, How to Kill a Dragon is still going on. Essentially, click that link, get your free book, and you'll get on the email list and you'll find out about all this stuff in advance. Now let's talk about what's going on with YouTube. Uh, today, I canceled the YouTube webinar because I did a little research. Because the, the space of YouTube is moving so fast that, you know, the things that worked when I started in 2009, they don't really work. And uh, the number one thing is, and you should understand this, if you are deep in YouTube, you'll see this. You'll see a person that have a million subscribers and that person, when they put a video out, they get 100,000 hits, which looks really good, but only 10% of the people are finding it then you'll see someone who has only like maybe 500 subscribers and they put out a video and they get 2,000 hits, 3,000 hits, 4,000 hits. You're like, what's going on? I'll tell you what's going on. Segmentation, keywords, and there are people who have their own tribe. So there was a guy I found and his videos are blue. I mean, there's just like, could you take the chalk out of my mouth? I mean, it was so dry, I've got chalk in my mouth. But his videos, each one of them has 10, 8, 9, 12,000 views, and he only has five, 600 subscribers. And then, it's, you know, me being the nerd that I am, I went ahead and I did some research, and I found out that he has his own tribe, and he's been doing this for many, many years, and his email list is probably six figures. That's his email list. So it's like, oh, okay, I got it. So essentially, the subscriber box of YouTube is broken, which means that you can get all these subscribers, and for some reason, the deliverability of your new announcements of videos isn't what it should be. Uh, YouTube's aware of this, and they're working on it, but it's still a big problem, because I have subscribed to my channel, and I've got you know other email accounts, and they don't get the announcements. So there's a problem there, and I, I feel that at some point in the future, they're going to fix it, because it's in... YouTube's best interest as well as the creator's interest for people to be updated on the dropping of new videos. Now, even if that gets fixed, you still want to have your own tribe. You still want to develop your own email list because what I did, what I did was create my own economy using YouTube and it was AdSense was not part of the mix for 18 months. It really wasn't. And when I jumped on, <clears throat> the AdSense pool wasn't really as diluted as it is now, meaning anyone could become a creator and get a little AdSense money so it pulls down the earn that you used to be able to get. So there's just some things going on. Uh, there's supposed to be a tip jar. There's a ton of things that are coming on. But if you want to do video marketing and you want to use YouTube for the long term, and let's let's just really really drop that what I'm teaching you is not going to make you rich overnight if ever just put that out there but what I'm teaching you can enable you to earn an income to take care of yourself and your family within time I'll put it at a year a year 18 months 24 months of diligent effort with the tools available you could be earning 
40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 100. You know, it really depends on you, what you're selling, and how motivated you are. But you can earn more than the median income of 38 G's a year. So let's, let's really talk about that because I just left the gym. And it was a sucky day. And I'm really learning how to psych myself out because, you know, I was up last night working on stuff late. I didn't go to bed at 2 o'clock. Really, my uh, eating the day was shit. I didn't eat right, meaning I didn't eat on time. So I have learned in the past from every time that I've gotten injured, it always happened when I wasn't properly prepared. I was tired. I was trying to do too much. That's all. That's what, I never got hurt just cooling it or taking it easy. And how did I learn this? From getting hurt working out so i know how to prevent injury and stuff because i um was hanging out with friends this weekend and i was at the hotel and the bed was horrible it was a nice hotel but the bed was sucked and my back was kind of feeling that and I'm, but once again i knew what the problem was so i did my walking i worked on my back went in the day really didn't deadlift 315 i mean i warm up with 400 and i did 315 just got some reps in, got the blood to the area, and I walked away from it, and then I got on the squats, and they felt particularly strong. So I actually went up to uh, 475. Strong, clean. Probably could have hit 500 today. But cycle, cycling, cycling, back load, come back, lift another day. Because what's the real name in the game of getting stronger, getting richer, getting healthier is consistency. You can't be consistent if you're all snapped up and hurt. You can't be consistent with your money plan if you're always broke. So you got to learn to work within your abilities and gradually stretch your abilities. And that's what this YouTube training is going to be about because, uh, you know, I'm just going to say it. Don't send me any emails like, hey, you know, I got laid off. How can I make $5,000 in the next 90 days? It, you know, I'm just going to put it to you like this. bro, man bro woman if you had those skills you would already be making the five thousand you would have quit that suck ass job a long time ago you know it's just let's be real people it's going to take you time it took me 14 months which is real fast but once again based on perspective i came from an old school economy where it's three to five years to build a business so for me 14 months from nothing building a business, it was like, holy shiz, Nick. You've got to be fucking kidding. Are you serious? Really? Man, I walked around with a Woody all week. Like, yeah, 14 months, really? <laughs> Excuse me, ma'am. Uh, it's not you. It's, I built this business in 14 months, and it's got me pretty excited. I mean, but then again, maybe it is you because you're really cute. But um, it, it's just possible what is possible now is just staggering it is really really staggering but with the youtube training what's going to happen is uh there's going to be something frequently so if you sign up for the youtube course at the ten dollar mark when i did the book way back in april whatever drops up on that gumroad account going forward and gumroad gives me 15 gigabytes of low data and I have a feeling that's going to grow. And I think since they like me, they would let me do more if I asked. Uh, I'm going to consistently just do YouTube training, YouTube webinars. And I'm going to add on to it because with these new announcements, and this is about gathering data. And this is why I purposely kept the ebook short and included the course. I can always modulate the course, change the course and you know give you new updates because people were taking the youtube training i see it in the you know there's folks in hustle universe they said oh this works i'm really finding the benefit because when you come on youtube all you hear is adsense 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 no one's saying hey you know what don't even put any ads on your app your, your videos come up with a service or a product and really sell that so this long, YouTube training is going to be long term. There's going to be more. There's going to be more webinars and things like that. And I'll just, as I come up with, uh, as I digest this new information, because the thing is, I'm still working my channel. Now, I'll tell you, I noticed this thing with the YouTube subscriber box about two years ago. Uh, I've got, what, 12, 13,000 subscribers. I put up a video. 
within two weeks I'll get anywhere from 700 up to maybe 2200 views in two weeks because I have emails I got six emails subscribed to my channel and some people get like bam you just when the camera just upload the video then there's other uh, my emails and I didn't set this stuff up that's just the way it's set up uh, I'll get a video three days later I mean I'll get an email about that video three days later so there's this I don't know if they're doing it I don't know what the heck they're doing but it's how it is but since I have a tribe and this is why I'm growing Hustlers University you know I'll be unvarnished I'll show you what's under my hem I'll show you my ankles and is to create this tribe of like-minded people because I mean if you're not about hustling you don't want to hustle you just kind of curious fuck you get the fuck on don't join Hustle University uh, I'm purposely grooming it in a certain way because it's already happening. There are people who are sharing information. There are people who are networking because I put up a question today. What is the biggest problem you have as a hustler? And it, it came down to something that I thought it would be and I, was, I wasn't surprised. And it was really about how to stay motivated in your support system. And that's one of the reasons, because you know, when I was coming out here on YouTube earlier, it's just like, Glendon's a motivational speaker. Oh. And you know, you limited perspective having motherfucker, if that's all you can see, this is like six foot one, 255 pounds of chocolate. There's a lot of stuff in here. But I learned to internally motivate myself when family was throwing stones, when friends were throwing stones, and girlfriends I will tell you a quick story I was dating this chick she's an attorney and we were dating we were really really dating because I really really liked her and I was dating her right and she couldn't really figure out how I made money understand she'd been to my place we went out she checked out the ride I ain't never said anything about it. I'm broke or boo we can't do this I never was that kind of dude. Whatever we wanted to do, we did. But she was still. She said, let me tell you, let me understand what you do. Uh, you uh, make money online? Yeah, boo. I make money online. That's what I do. Could you? Uh... I understand this woman has an attorney and, um, you know, passed the bar and shit. So she's supposed to be highly intelligent, you would assume. And she... For, could not wrap her head around it. She could not wrap her head around the fact that I made money online. She asked me six ways. We're at dinner. She's like, so let me understand again. So really? I mean, she was just incredulous that I was making money that way. And I mean, it's it just, we were out with some friends and we were just talking and I was just talking about my business and stuff and she said yeah I really don't know how that worked and it was like an EF Hutton moment google it and um, my my friends was like man dude because my boy he put his hand on my back he said I got your back dude because clearly someone at the table doesn't and I was like I know I felt the draft right and I was sitting there like never did anything to this chick never asked her for any money we were having a good time but because what I do did not fit her paradigm shift of what a man should do. Because understand, dudes, um, I'm just going to say this. If you're a brother, you black man, you know, you got the chocolate tan, the permanent tan, and you are with uh, a black woman who grew up in a very traditional family where a man goes out and like clubs wolves over the head or some shit like that and you're talking about sitting on your ass staying clean making money on the internet you could have some problems i'm telling you you could have some problems i'm telling you because it doesn't it doesn't look let's just let's just break it down it doesn't give you a she doesn't give her a good story to tell to her friends and family so what does your boo do uh he makes money online what does he do exactly does he sell on ebay amazon uh no he uh does niche websites cricket 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 oh anyway are you going to felicia's party <laughs> so she doesn't have a good story and as i've always told you about tribalism when she's out there talking you know because every woman that has a dude she wants to be proud of her dude 
She wants to be able to brag on her dude. So there's nothing wrong with that, but when your perspective isn't set up where they understand what you do, because I'm saying this, because more and more of us are doing this internet thing. More and more of us are learning how to make money online. And you know, I'm, I'm fucking the spearhead on that shit. If I can help 100,000 motherfuckers free themselves from jobs, mission fucking accomplished. I mean, seriously, if I can help or point or be a Sherpa or like put up secret codes in the sky to lead your ass to freedom, come here, follow me, you know, that shit, right? I mean, I'm getting excited. I like that. But essentially, if you're dealing with people who don't have the perspective to understand what you're doing, where you're going, it's going to be problematic on the relationship front because they are going to go talk to friends and family and there's going to be somebody, you know, like Uncle Joe Lee, Uncle Joe Lee, that big ass man, you know, that worked in the mine, you know, and he's like, a real man has a job where he kills wolves. And she's sitting there like, Uncle Joe Lee, I met this guy. So you met this guy? Yeah, he's really nice. What does this guy do? Oh, he makes money on it. Ain't no real man making no fucking money on the internet. That's a bitch ass move. Real men kill wolves. Ow! You know, that kind of shit. And since, you know, she loves Uncle Joe Lee and she's been with Uncle Joe Lee long as she's been with you, what he says carries weight. Even if it doesn't make any sense because Uncle Joe Lee is a crackhead and an alcoholic and has 18 kids by several different wolves because, you know, he didn't club them wolves. Some of those wolves he was fucking, right? And, um, that's how it goes. And I'm just telling you, you know, because this YouTube thing is going to be really, really big. Um, the changes that YouTube is making is really going to benefit people who get the right information. Now, this is where I am the odd quackity quack quack duck. I didn't come to YouTube trying to get views. I came to YouTube trying to get dollars. Many people don't understand why they're not making any money. They're coming to YouTube trying to get views. It's like, I put this video up and I got 40 views. <laughs> no one likes me. I've even seen grown ass men like crying and shit because people left disparaging comments on their videos. I'm like, really, bitch? Really? Did you take the pink panties off? But um, essentially, you must reframe why you're on YouTube. And this is one of the reasons that people are not successful with YouTube. They don't know what the fuck they're here. It's like, I want to get views. I don't give a fuck if I'm, I'm telling you. Early on, I had a video, didn't have a lot of views, got me some nice coin. So I am not addicted to the view monster. Because essentially, for your video to be effective, if you can reach people and for people to take action, your video was effective. You cannot get caught up in trying to compete with the entertainment guys. You know, someone that puts up a video about farting in the elevator and it gets half a million views in a week. You can't compete with that. Don't even try. Don't even, if you hear someone who has an entertainment channel talking about how to build their channel, don't listen because you're diametrically opposed to that person. They're trying to get views. You're trying to get dollars. You two are not walking on the same street. You are like all the way in Beverly Hills and they're like in Miami Beach on the sand and shit looking at the waves, you know, trying to get views. You're trying to get dollars so you can buy your own fucking beach so you can fuck your girl in the middle of the beach and nobody's there because you own that bitch. That's what I'm talking about doing. Not being on someone else's bitch. Beach. Bitch, beach. Huh, yeah, that could go both ways. But anywho, um, essentially, you have to really, really know why you're here on YouTube. I came to YouTube 2009 trying to make dollars. Was successful with that. That was the orientation, that was the goal, that was the purpose from jump. If you're caught up on the view monster, and you know, and also what I'm gonna do with the YouTube thing is include the component of tribalism. Because you have to build your tribes. I'm gonna tell you why you have to build your tribes. Google is gonna fuck you. Facebook is gonna fuck you. Uh, YouTube's gonna fuck you. Um, any of these third parties are gonna fuck you because what they're gonna do is change their algorithms and it's gonna impact your delivery of your, your message. Whereas if you have your own tribe, you have your own email list, um, 
you're not as worried. I mean, you still got to play the game. Understand. Don't hate the player. Don't hate the game. Learn the fucking rules so you can win. And the rules are you need to have your own digital properties. You need to have your own digital assets. Digital properties will include a website, blog, email list, uh, your own video platform. You've got to have one or two things that are, well, preferably two. Your own video platform, blog, and email list. You, those are must-haves. Those are just the price of admission. That's the floor. You got to have that. And I don't want to hear this, you know, Glenn, I was starting one with email list and I only got 100 people in the last five months. That's 100 people you didn't have before. This YouTube channel started with no views. It was nobody. I mean, the tumbleweeds or shit was rolling through my videos. I mean, it was nothing going on. It was just kept hidden, kept hidden, kept hidden, kept hidden. That's my Uncle J-Rock say, if you keep fucking, sooner or later you're going to come. I mean, that's it. You got to keep fucking. You got to keep fucking. You got to keep going. You know, you got to keep going deep. I mean, you got to put your hips into it, boy. And <laughs> private joke it is too crass for me even for me to put that on youtube uh but essentially what this journey that we're going to get on to solve your problems of how to get discovered we're going to talk about that stuff because if you have the right mindset of it's going to take a while to grow my channel and you're working on different things then it is not as daunting because i mean every day tech crunch you're gonna see hey you know this guy made this app last wednesday and facebook bought it for 30 billion dollars he only worked on it for three weeks now that, and then someone's gonna do a course on like how to get 30 billion dollars in three weeks only for 9.99 right <laughs> i love that shit it cracks me up it totally cracks me up but um that's what's going down that's what's going to go on and uh for those of you who made it to the end of this video. Since this YouTube theme is gonna be very big, I'm changing the price on it. But for those of you, because see, uh, for those of you who made it to the end, arr, I'm driving like a madman. I am going to give you a special link. I haven't decided on the pricing because I'm driving and I need to sit down and plot that out with the rest of my goals. But you guys who made it to the end of the video, are going to get a special discount and this is uh, one of the things I'm doing I'm going away from the monthly fees to one time year in for life because I started experimenting with that in April uh, March and people really like it so that's what I'm gonna do but for those of you who made it to the and don't tell anybody it's like hey hey Glenn has got a real good juicy deal at the end of the video don't tell nobody it's just between us it's just you know it's just between us because we're friends like that because we folk, as they say in the West End. We folk, y'all. We folk. And uh, with that, I will see you on the good side. I need to go get some fruit to improve my diet and put in this Vitamax blender. No, Ninja. I got a Ninja blender. Yeah, Ninja blender. I love that thing. It's freaking awesome. So, yeah, that's the deal. And with, as always, I'll see you on the good side.